Pravit Tovarist Shi Jebani Kawas Sakabla Didi Nahu. This was Stalin language for hello fellow tankers and thanks for tuning in on this episode. Today you are watching a guide on how to play another well balanced tank that Wargaming has released after intense testing. Of course we are talking about the 268 version 4 aka the Yalo Wagon 2.0. The Yalo Wagon is a tier 10 heavy assault Soviet tank destroyer. Assault. Wait. Yes you heard right you little bushwankers. Since this thing has a whopping 0.4 accuracy and better armor than a fucking jagged cancer or fee 100 and better mobility than the E50M you can stop fapping on the red line and start playing this thing properly. Let's start with the loadout. This tank has an 152mm dildo gun. That fucks enemies harder than imperialism is exploiting workers. You have 650 alpha damage and 293 millimeters of penetration on your app rounds, which is enough to butter every enemy tank at close range. For long range snapshots and Chinese meme tanks you can load your skill rounds for 360 millimeters of penetratron. Penetratron. Penetration. Fuck my life. As for ammo loadout you select mostly AP. Some skill rounds for enemy morrison. Understand. You know one morse. Many morrison. Type 5s and heat 100s. Also don't forget to load some high explosive rounds. To send enemy grill and low HP tanks to gulag. Instead of using a fire extinguisher you can go for shashlik and vodka. For equipment you use the following. Since your reload is cancer you go with large caliber dildo rammer. Vents. For the third slot depending how well your crew is trained you go with binoculars or catadoptic to have better view range than most of the light tanks. Because of having an effective 0.37 nope. accuracy you will miss most nope. shots on high range. The DPM of 2900 nope. is garbage. So you have to make sure you get close enough fuck? to the enemy. This won't be a problem. Nice. Because the 268 version 4 has only 2 weak spots. So tiny only RNGesus can guide enemy shots at them. In addition the side armor can be trollolo to penetrate. Because of the spaced armor plus V shaped hull. Also the side of the upper hull is very thick and well angled. So to sum up you play the Yalo Wagon in close to mid-range combat, except on rather open maps like Malinovka, Prokhorovka etc. On the rest of the maps you are actively seeking hull down positions, where you can farm enemy heavy tanks and bounce shells, even premium shells most of the time, with your 310mm plus effective upper and 330mm plus lower hull armor. Move out of cover, bounce a shot, or many lots, and put 650 alpha bitch slaps in their faces, so people will shut the fuck up talking about it's overpowered Russian bias. On open maps you can play the Yalo Wagoners and mid-range aggressive sniper schnitzel. Stay behind bush and spot for yourself with your super awesome view range. With Brotherhood of Stalin assist, situational awareness and vodka you can boost your base view range from 370 up to 450 meters with optics and 520 meters with binoculars. Let's talk about crew skills. For the first skill you will take Brotherhood of Stalin fist. For the second skill take 6th sense for the commander and camouflage for the rest. Once you reach your third skill go for camouflage. Snapshot, smooth ride, safe stowage and repairs. For the fourth skill you pick situational awareness, and since you are an overpowered Russian shit you don't give a fuck about the other crew skills. As mentioned earlier with good crew comrades some vodka, and magnifying glasses I mean coated optics or binoculars you can get a strong view range despite your utter garbage 370 meters base view range. Therefore you can actively take the role as a long to mid range scout, so you can farm spotting damage, while the air allies keep fapping with their heavy tanks in bushes behind you. Once more regarding playstyle, communism is the only way forward. Talking about forward, it doesn't really matter if you are playing in full tier 10 matches or wrecking tier 8 tanks. Since your armor is fucking overpowered, and even experienced players in tier 10 struggle to penetrate your frontal weak spits you do the same in every battle by spreading communism. Play this tank like a heavy assault tank on the front line.
Also this tank weighs a fucking 75,000 kilograms with a top speed limit of 55 kilometers per hour. So don't hesitate to ram kill low HP light, medium, TDs and even some heavy tanks. If you are getting circled by enemy small shitters, make sure to remind them they don't mess with Stalin's play toy. Just look at this fucking T49 and 212 killing themselves from their own splashes. What the mother f If you are a true communist and want to fight capitalism twice as effective, take a comrade of your clan or friend list and do a double yellow wagon platoon to spread even more cancer among your enemies so they will remember how bad they are at this game. Now go out there and make Stalin proud and destroy enemies' hopes and dreams of actually winning for once in this game. If you liked this episode, make communism great again, and like this video, so I can for once have the feeling, that I achieved something in my fucking life. K thanks bye. It's overpowered Russian bias.